Welcome back to Aquascope on Winners TV. Ever thought about doing aqua aerobics? Aerobic activity is any exercise that increases the body's need for oxygen. These exercises are often routines that involve rhythmic, consistent movement that raises the heart rate and increases the pace of respiration. When these movements are performed in a pool of water, the activity is referred to as aqua or water aerobics. This form of exercise is suitable for most people, including many elderly and disabled individuals. The benefits of working out aerobically in the water are numerous. One of the best features of water aerobics is the lack of stress placed on the joints due to the buoyancy of the water. This feature allows many who are injured or overweight to exercise in a way that they could not on land. As well, working out in the water is also beneficial in improving muscle tone and flexibility for those with arthritis or osteoporosis. This has become popularly known as water rehab. The water is also a good place for pregnant women to exercise safely, particularly in a hot climate. Aqua aerobics, like most forms of aerobic activity, is done to music with specific beats per minute. The main difference is it is done at half land tempo as the viscosity of the water has to be taken into consideration. Before you jump in though, first check with your doctor to make sure if there are any limitations to you doing any form of exercise. Then ensure your instructor has the proper certification to conduct the class you want to join. Not their word, check their certification. When that's done, look forward to enjoying pain-free exercise. So we're talking about improving muscle tone and flexibility in a pain-free environment on your joints. That's right. 15-year-old Stephanie Lovell, who represented St. Lucia at the first inaugural Youth Olympic Games in Singapore in August 2010, under coach Ben Todd, was one of the youngest athletes at these games. As Chef de Michon, I found she did a remarkable job of keeping her poise and representing St. Lucia very well. The future looks very bright for this young sailor. Stephanie, sports in your family. Your dad was a sailor. Your brother sailed for a while. He plays tennis. Your mom, multi-sports. She did basketball. She runs. She rides. Now she's training for triathlon. You decided on sailing. Why sailing, Stephanie? Well, my brother started off sailing first, and I was, my brother and I were always really competitive. So I thought, you know, I'm going to start so that one day I can probably beat him and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed it after that. You did most of your sailing here in St. Lucia? Yeah, yes? right here. And the Yacht Club, of course, this is where a lot of sailing takes place, and you have a coach. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah, it is. I'm really grateful. And now we're talking about the coach. Let's talk about your training schedule, because You've been doing some great sailing. You've represented Solution in different places. Surely, pretty hard schedule now that you've got such a good coach. I agree. Um, I pretty much sail twice a week, about three hours a day on those four days. And the other two days of the week, I go to the gym or I play tennis with my family and stuff. I don't really have a lot of time after that. <laughs> As an athlete, of course, it does take up a lot of your time. But apart from sailing, you go to the gym because strength is needed in sailing? Yeah, and I, I like the cardiovascular factor. I like feeling fit. And so I could run and I could actually, you know, perform well and not just get tired really quickly. Well, of course, a lot of people think that sailing is something that you just get in a boat and you sit down and you let the sails do the work for you. You know a lot more than that. Tell us a little more what people has are, to happen. People are seriously misunderstood when, when, when they say that because Sailing is all about strength and fitness. It's incredible. You need so much fitness for sailing. You need all the muscles in your body and you need to be able to last a very long time doing intense exercise. That's right. Now, you are on the Olympic Solidarity Program. That's a first for any sailor in St. Lucia. That's a big thing for sailing in St. Lucia. How do you take that? Um, well, I like the fact that it makes me feel that I have support behind me and it's just and it's not just me trying to get into where I want to go because obviously going to the Olympics is one of my dreams and it's my life's goal. So it's nice to know that there's there's people out there who are trying to help me with my dream. And Olympic solidarity of course requires 
a lot of work, there are a lot of programs, a lot of papers to fill in. Yes. And they monitor what's happening to make sure that you are doing a lot of training. Mm -hmm. Do they come and check this out at all? Well, I don't really know. My mom pretty much deals with all the paperwork. She's just like, Stephanie, it's time to sign. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and of course, they're very proud that sailing is, is, is something in St. Lucia. Very seldom do we see these islands where we have such wonderful water, such beautiful bays to sail in. Take advantage of something like this. It's great for St. Lucia to do this. And right here, Rodney Bay, such a wonderful bay, such a great place to train. I agree. It's a real pity that we don't have enough boats and uh, a greater population of people who actually want to sail. Because these are one of the most perfect places that I've been sailing and I've been a lot of places sailing. I mean, we have so many different um, types of conditions. I just don't understand why people don't want to come out and sail. Where, I mean, in the Caribbean, where have you been sailing in the Caribbean? Have you been to Martinique? Have you been to Barbados? Where are the islands in the Caribbean that you have gone to compete? I've been to both of those. I've also been down to Beko and St. Vincent. I've been to Tortola. I've been up to the Cayman Islands. Um, where else have I been? That's pretty much it for the Caribbean right now. Yeah, and which of these islands do you enjoy going to? Which, which of these islands do you like the sailing? I love going to Martinique because there's a lot of Martinicans who like to sail so the turnout for the Shell Shell Regatta over in Martinique is really big and they get all their um, <clears throat> friends from all the other French islands so it's great. Okay well this year is one of the years leading up to the London 2012. We have a whole year in planning. Tell us what you want to do leading up to 2012. What are your plans? Where do you want to go to? Where do you want to compete at? How is your training schedule? Is it going to increase? Tell me a little bit more about what this year leading up to the London 2012 Olympics is going to be like. Well, for now, I know that I want to go to St. Martin at the uh, beginning of June. and the end of June, I'm going up to England. I'm going to do some training and then I'm going to Croatia for the Youth Worlds, which is going to be a really big event. And right after that, I'm going to train back in England, do some big competitions there. And then when I come back, I'm not really too sure what my schedule is going to be like after that. Youth Worlds, Croatia. Yeah. Far place to go. A lot of, lot of, lot of countries, a lot, a lot of sailors. You're looking forward to that, I'm, I'm quite sure. Oh, I'm really excited. Yeah? You've yeah. got a lot of young sailors involved. What sort of ages would, you, would we be getting in Croatia of, of, of young sailors? Um, I'd probably be a very young person. Usually a lot of them would be about 17 years old. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's about 17, most of them. Yeah. So it's probably about 15 to 17-ish. Tell us a little bit about Singapore. You went to Singapore, you represented St. Lucia proudly. Your chef de mission said you were incredible. He's so proud of you. <laughs> you tell us what your thoughts are. You tell us what was in Singapore that said to Steffi Lovell, I love being here and this is part of my plans. Singapore was amazing. It was something that I'd never experienced before in my life and something I'll never forget. I mean, the people there were amazing. The experience was unbelievable. I mean, everybody just treated you like you were some kind of superstar. And the sailing was great. The food was great. The experience was great. I just, I loved it. And being part of a Sinusha team, it's such a, a great event. Mm. It's, 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 it's representing the Olympic program in St. Lucia. That must have made you very proud. Oh, it did. It did. And there was actually quite a good turnout this year, which made me also feel a lot better. Yeah. And the boats that you had there, good enough for you? They're good. I mean, they're not great, but they're, they're, they're good. Good. You're looking forward to better boats in Croatia, better boats in London 2012. You're going to be proud. You're going to represent St. Lucia. You're Definitely. one of our champions. Thanks. You're very welcome.